Hey guys, it's Pranay. So for these earrings, I'm gonna be using some porcelain clay. It's the kind of clay that dries by itself. You don't need to bake it. But feel free to work with polymer clay. These are the two brands that I have worked with in the past and that I know that you get pretty much the same results with those ones. So I'm gonna be rolling my clay using my roller with those two green rings on each side. Those are there so that my clay rolls evenly. But I'm gonna be using a baking tool actually to cut my clay. It's my Wilflin 1M. Gonna be cutting one circle, cleaning it one I'm done with this but I'm gonna be folding my circle of clay like this in half like a mini taco and I'm gonna be cutting that with my exacto knife or my cutter and I'm gonna turn this into a mini bead just by rolling this in between the like my hand like the palm of my hand and my finger and I'm gonna let it dry just so that the outside of it is dry but the inside is like still soft and I'm gonna be placing like a couple of pins in there just to make like holes once it's fully dry I'm gonna be painting this uh, with this pearl acrylic paint and my brush this brush is for eyeshadow I actually use eyeshadow brushes to paint I don't know why well actually I do the bristles are softer but I digress giving this a couple of coats and then just letting it dry in like a block of foam then I'll add some gloss to my beads just to make them glossy and nice using this gloss by Sculpey and letting it dry in the same block of foam I need some ice beans and for that you can make them like out of wire I do have DIY showing you how to do that but I'm gonna be cutting some ear wires that if you cut them you get like mini eye pins out of that then I'll use this chain I don't know what the name of this kind of chains are it's like a delicate chain and I'm going to be cutting this one inch twice like I need two of this if you want your earrings to be longer just cut more as long as you want your earrings to be I'm going to be taking some super glue and gluing my eye pins to my pearl beads removing the pins and then just using my pliers to help myself to just glue those eye pins in there and then I'm going to be taking this ear wires now it's time to put everything together. For that, I need my two like charms, my two ear wires, my two chains, and a couple of jump rings as well. First, I'll open my ear wires, place my jump ring, and then just close it. Then open my jump ring and place my chain. Looking back at it, I should have just opened my jump ring and placed my ear wire and my chain. And then I'll open my eye pin, place my chain, and then just close it. But yeah guys, these are the earrings that I want to share with you. I honestly love them. I think they are super cute. They go with everything. Just throw them on and you don't have to worry about it. I think they are the perfect amount of like statement without being too much when you don't want too much. Dangly earrings without being too long. And they are dainty-ish, but there's something edgy I think about them. They are super easy to wear as in lightweight. They are easy to make and affordable. And hopefully you like them too. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Check out more earrings that I have on my shelf. Subscribe for more and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.